This is the ID Cooling Icecomo 240W. As the name suggests, it's a 240 millimeter all-in-one liquid cooler that supports Intel 1150X sockets as well as 2011 and AMD sockets AM2 and AM3. Today we're going to do a quick overview of this cooler. So here's the cooler. So this is an aluminum radiator, copper block here. And uh, this is 27 millimeters thick, which is basically a copy of uh, all the other all-in-ones on the market. Um, we do have this flex tubing here, um, which I'm really not a fan of, um, but it should be fine. It's nice and long. It's about the length of the radiator, a little bit longer. So the fans are 120 millimeter fans, of course. Um, they are LED, but they're white LEDs. They're PWM four pin fans. They're about 1500 RPM fans, so they're pretty standard as well. Um, there's not anything really amazing about them. Um, they seem to be built really well, and they have these uh, anti-vibration pads here, so that's kind of cool especially on such a cheap uh, all-in-one unit. The pump is, it's about a four watt pump. So it's gonna be really, really quiet. At least you, one would assume we're gonna test that. And we have a SATA connector here for power. So there's no um, PWM signal or voltage control. It's just you plug it in and the pump turns on. So we're gonna put this on a CPU. We're gonna test it out and uh, get back to you. We've put the cooler on a 7740X running at 1.25 volts. We got done with one real bench uh, run and max temp is 93C and coldest core is 81C. So that's about a difference of uh, 12C. So that's not that great. So this is a $50 all-in-one. And because it's a $50 all-in-one, you have to kind of temper your expectations. This is not gonna perform like a high-end Corsair unit or some other $100 plus uh, 240 all-in-one. This is about equal to a good air cooler. With that being said, you're not buying this because it's a good performer. You're buying this for looks. So if you have a theme build or an all-white build, you want an all-white cooler, there's not many of those on the market. You're gonna have a hard time finding something like that. So that's where this comes in. Um, if that's something that you want, then I would recommend this cooler. If you want something that's more geared towards performance, this is probably not the best cooler for you. You probably should get something like a Corsair or EVGA cooler. But this is built very well. The fans seem really nice. They're heavy. Um, they have anti-vibration pads on them. There's nothing wrong with the build quality of the cooler. So we're at the end of the video. And this is the part where I tell you thank you for watching and if you enjoyed the video and it was helpful for you, consider subscribing.